The sacrifice is inspired by the Rite of Spring, obviously, and we are basically concentrating on Dwana dance, so it's been really great in learning the language and the, the, the style. So the story is about the sacrifices that we have to make sometimes as human beings. For Dada Masilo, it wasn't really an easy task because with, throughout all her works that she has done previously, there was already an existing narrative. But then with this one, it's totally, totally different because now she had to create one. I think that when I watched The Rite of Spring, I was um, very intrigued by the fact that there is um, the adoration of the earth which is the first act and then the sacrifice and uh, so when I started playing around with it I wanted to explore this idea of the adoration of the earth and culture and ritual and tradition um, because I mean in South Africa there are so many different cultures and traditions and we do a lot of ritual so I wanted like that first part of the piece to be about that uh, to just explain to people okay we do these rituals before we do a sacrifice you know, so there are certain things that you will do in different cultures. Um, in a lot of the cultures in South Africa, they will slaughter an animal, and then that is an offering uh, to the ancestors. In the sacrifice, in, in the rite of spring, I mean, the maiden dances half to death, but I wanted something completely different. I, I wanted the sacrifice to kind of be something beautiful as well. I mean, the mother has to sacrifice her own child, which is sad, but I wanted the beauty instead of drama. Um, in it and I think that also with the sacrifice um, I wanted people to look at it from the, the point of view of the maiden uh, which is where the narrative comes in because the narrative is very thin in the rites of spring so I had to try and figure out okay how do we not just make it about dance and then the chosen one you know how do we incorporate the rituals and how do we follow um, the maiden through the journey of her then getting to the point where she's being sacrificed because it, it involves the community so in the sacrifice i wanted um, the the community the dancers to set up the space so you're setting up the space where she is going to be sacrificed so it's, it's, it's almost um you know, uh, in Romeo and Juliet, the missing letter that goes everywhere. So, but yeah, it's not missing. It's just the message is being passed on from one person to the next to the next, and then everybody's going, okay, we need to cleanse the space, prepare the space, so that we can do sacrifice. Oh.